God dang it! It's filmed at night again! That's the one thing I was trying to avoid! Ugh. Well, actually, there is one major difference. First off, it's actually not completely dark. It's not like fully pitch black yet. Secondly, it's only like 612. So I actually filmed this a lot earlier. Yay! Last year it was filmed at like 11.30 p.m. or something. And it was way darker than this. Anyway, without further ado, I welcome you to the Christmas Plus Winter Fair 2022. <laughs> Alongside the missing gifts. Hello, welcome to Backyard Videos once again. It is Wednesday, December 14th, 2022. And as you guys can see, the Christmas plus Winter Fair is now live. Now, I guess the fair stuff I didn't have enough time to implement because first off, I started on this really freaking late around like 3 p.m. So uh, that's because we were uh, doing a lot of stuff in the house. I had a really busy day, but um, anyway, as you guys can see, let's already jump automatically right into it. As you guys can see, the workshop is decorated with the rainbow lights and they even go all the way out there as well. As you can see, yep, they go all along out there as well, which is awesome. We even have some of the candy cane things right here as well. We have another one over here as well, which is awesome. And um, you may notice we have entirely new garland. Oh, speaking of decorations, actually, a lot of them from the last five to four years have been thrown out because they looked really messed up. Only a few survived, and I'll tell you which ones. I just needed to point that out. Also, some of these rooms, oh, they are complete, but I don't feel they really are. Which is why on December 15th, you're going to see a massive update with this. Anyway, this is the logo for 2022. Um, sorry about that. Um, as you can see, it says Christmas in red, green, white, and yellow. Well, technically that's gray, but the point is... Um, and then we have winter in white and blue. And then the fair in lavender and yellow. As we can see, we have a combination of all three parties in one. Because did I mention this is a combo party? Three in one? Think back to Zola's up 2 in September. Before celebration of fall. That's exactly the point here. Now this is to make up for not having a winter party. Nor even having the fair. I'll implement all the fair stuff on the 15th as I did not have enough time. Also, the only thing that's actually winter themed in here is actually this snowman. You may have noticed it behind me. Point is, yeah, it's crazy. So basically everything from the last five years got thrown out. Let's get started with the shed as well. Well, let's move on to the shed. As you guys can see, we have another garland right here and a ton of lights in the process. I was trying to do all of this before dark. God dang it. So, uh, oh man, I failed once again. What is this? Throw back to 2017 when this was all at night? Dang, man. Dang, I was so close. Just off by an hour. It also took forever to put up all these lights. I'm not going to lie, though. Yeah, it looks really, really awesome. You may notice how I actually got the lights to actually stick to the garland, which is pretty nice. This is the green candy cane garland, by the way. And what is in here is the red candy cane garland, which are all new garlands for this party, which is amazing. This is to replace what we threw out earlier. The only other update is actually just down there with those lights, and that's it. Moving on, we have one of my personal favorite areas in this party, which is... We go to the tripod area. First off, you can thank my mom for uh, stringing these lights. Because, uh, yeah, it looks freaking sweet. Seriously, yeah, my mom strung up all these lights. You think it would be me? 
and it was going to. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that didn't happen. Now, here's where you're actually going to start seeing some winter elements. Yep, as you guys can see, we now actually can start seeing some winter decorations. Oh, also, uh, those were originally meant to be placed here. Uh, we didn't throw them out because we could actually just wash them. Now, um, I didn't place them around here because we just need to wash them off, spray them off and all that. So I'll implement them on the 15th once we wash them off. Um, so, yeah. Uh, but those are going to be placed somewhere, I promise. Yep, I promise. Those are going to be placed somewhere. We're just going to wash them off because they're uh, pretty dirty. Um, oh, yeah. Here's the bin filled with all the decorations from the last five years. Across both the winter and Christmas parties. We actually still got a few over there, but the point remains. Uh, what time is it? It is 6.18. Dear God. I also hopefully promise the next episode is not at night. I hope at least. But yeah, the lights look absolutely pretty here in the tripod area. I truly think my mom did a great job with stringing the lights. Everything else though was done by me. Yep, everything else but the lights were done by me. So my mom actually uh, helped me a little with this party. So that's awesome. Just with these lights though. And also helping me decide where some of these lights actually go. For example, all the lights that you see around here, you can thank my mom for choosing where the heck to put them because so we don't blend them in too much. Anyway, with that being said, that is it for the tripod area. We're now going to move on. You're going to see this much better at daytime. So I'm going to come back in the next episode and show you all the improvements. Even at daytime, we still got a few of those over there. So some of the decorations actually still remain. Going over here, we got a snowflake, which is actually still here from the construction. So see, we got a lot of winter elements. But this next one is completely winter themed. With only just maybe one little touch of Christmas right here. Well, let me just pick that up right there. Come on, come on. There we go. Okay, sorry about the screen there. I apologize. One second. Let me just uh, fix that. Sorry about that, guys. Okay, there we go. Everything's fixed. Okay, okay, okay. Yep. Yep, we can still get this properly now. Anyway, we have the blue lights from my workshop right here in the pond view, which is really awesome. Of course, since they are crazy long, yeah, they go along there. We still have the snowflake from the construction, and we still have all this winter garland. This somehow survived, though, so that's why it's here. Yeah, this garland somehow uh, survived. How? That's actually it for the room. Outside of that candy can, we need at least one little Christmas decoration in here because it's a blend of the two. The fair elements are just all the games, which I, again, did not have time to implement. But again, on the 15th, it'll be all implemented. It's just, I started this at 3 p.m. again as I addressed because I had a lot going on in real life. We have another candy cane right here. Uh, we have these little candy canes. Now they're actually a part of this candy cane garland, as you may notice here. If you may notice, there is candy cane garland all over the fence, which is actually really cool. I know it's really tiny, so it may be a little hard to see, but you genuinely get the idea. Oh, we're going to be over here later, I promise. Oh, and yes, of course, we cannot forget about the lit up candy canes. Anyway, point remains. Um, they're actually, uh, you know the Santa hat that used to be here? Uh, that's gone now. Uh, like entirely. Like, it's no longer here. We threw that out. We threw out basically everything that was in the winter bin and Christmas bins in the shed. We're hopefully going to fix up the shed so none of that happens again. Um, so yeah, it actually looks really awesome here in the field. We even have the snowflake lights to implement a little bit of winter, which is really awesome. Outside of that, there's not really much else to say. Again, on the next episode, you're going to see a massive improvement with this party. As again, I had to go with what I had after throwing out all my other decorations. So I apologize if this is a bit small. You kind of can't blame me though. We just threw out all my other decorations. 
Anyway, we have the lantern from the Night of Lights, and we also have the green and snowflake garlands, respectively, here on this tree, the tree next to the garden, and that was the field. So that's really cool. You can actually see it. I don't think I even need my flashlight, but you know, I'll do it for the sake of the video. You may notice it actually looks really, really good. And I truly do like it. It looks really awesome. And even on the back as well, it actually looks really awesome. So that's really cool. Uh, uh sorry. Uh, I don't know. Something's probably in my head. I don't know. Point is, the last area is exactly the same from last year, aside from them being separated a bit. But apart from that, the candy canes are back as usual. These have actually been here since Night of Lights. So uh, they have not gone anywhere. And guys, that's it for the party so far. But before we can go though, I have to do one last thing, which is the custom shirt. I'm not gonna put it on right now because um, it's actually really dark outside and I do not feel like uh, busting out the tripod right now. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you it really quick because um, yeah, I don't want this video going on much longer. Oh, I forgot to tell you about our first part of the missing gifts. There you go. December 14th, December 16th, December 18th, December 20th, December 22nd, and December 26th. Where's our first gift? It is right here. Ta-da! The custom shirt, everybody. Yep. And let me put this on the project table really quick so I can uh, show you it. Cause it actually looks really, really good. Okay guys, um, that is done. So I'm just putting it there. There we go. It's basically the logo of the party just on the shirt. I also chose a white shirt this year around cause I thought that that would look really cool. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching this episode of Back Your VOs. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed. Um, it really does look great. Um, the Christmas party does look really amazing. And it only took me like three hours to set up. Um, I was going to start it away earlier, but then I got busy. So, yeah. <laughs> Alright guys, see you all in the next episode. Good bye guys. Oh, trust me, next episode, this party is going to look way better. I'm actually off to uh, a store to go buy some more decorations to go replace the ones that we just threw out. So that can explain why it was pretty small at first. Just fun I mentioned. And that's why I actually got to go end the video.